Good morning, Mount Mariah. Welcome to Friday. Oh my gosh, we made it a whole week. How cool is that? We always look forward on Friday that this is gym day. So we're going to do gym today. I talked to Mrs. Paschke yesterday and she gave me a list of things that she'd like for you to do. And I will be attaching that to the video after um, we're done here. The other thing is today is wear your Mount Mariah shirt or other gear that you might have. This is to support our school. And I thought I'd talk just a little bit about that uh, for a minute, but first let's do our Bible verse. Be strong and courageous. Do not be discouraged. Do not be afraid for the Lord your God will go with you wherever you go or you are in our case. And that's from Joshua 1, 9. Do you have that verse pretty well hidden in your heart? Good, because that's the purpose of learning Bible verses is to hide them in your heart. So let's get back to Mount Moriah. Um, I saw that a lot of you did some absolutely wonderful, wonderful projects. It looks to me like you really enjoyed the scavenger hunt um, yesterday. And I saw a lot of you did them both. You did the inside and the outside. And wow, I was really impressed. So um, we're going to try something else today. That's coming. You know, we are a school like no other. And that's for a lot of reasons. First of all, it's because Jesus walks our halls. I don't know too many other schools that can say that they pray together and worship together and praise together and sing together in Jesus' name. That makes us stand out above all other schools on so many ways. The other thing that makes us so special is you. Your parents, the staff, do not think for one minute that God did not bring you specifically to Mount Moriah for a purpose, for a reason, and at exactly this time. He knew we were gonna need each other, so he put us all together, specially designed. That was his plan. It was his plan from the beginning of time, and I think that's a really cool thing about Mount Moriah is that we're not just a group of people thrown together. God chose us specifically. So today, when you wear your MMCS shirts or pants or sweatshirt or hat or whatever paraphernalia that you have, be proud of where you go to school. Be proud of who you believe in. Be you. All right. Since... Um, our fun activity today may not be able to take place outside. We may have to do it inside. So let me explain to you what we're going to do. We're going to take the letters of M, M, C, S, and we are going to design those letters using whatever materials that you can find. And then I'd like for you to ask your parent to take a picture of you with M, M, CS spelled out in whatever materials you'd like to use, and I want to see how creative we can get. Now, I saw a um, video of this, and one of the boys had done his name with sticks, spelled out his name with sticks, and I know you can be way more creative than that. I've seen what you all can do this week, so I am looking forward to seeing some excellent pictures with MMCS spelled out in whatever medium that you choose to use. You pick. It's your day to shine. Alrighty. Um, today's devotion. Today we're going to read about getting rid of weeds. These little troubles are getting us ready for an eternal glory that will make all of our troubles seem like nothing. 2 Corinthians 4.17 I promise to meet all your needs. And while you may not realize it, your greatest need is for my peace. I'm the gardener of your heart, planting seeds of peace. But the world also tosses in those seeds. These seeds grow into weeds. They're weeds of pride, worry, selfishness. And if these weeds aren't ripped out quickly, they're going to choke out all your peace. I get rid of these weeds in many different ways. Sometimes when you sit quiet in prayer, my light shines on those weeds and they shrivel up. 
but other times I use troubles to encourage you to trust me. And that trust kills the weeds. So thank me for troubles as well as the joys because I use them both to make your heart my garden of peace. You know, when I was preparing for uh, this morning's devotion and I got to thinking about all the weeds of doubt, worry that I have in my life, and I realized that I've got to get rid of those. And the devotion was right. Sitting with God and being quiet is a good way to choke out the weeds. Another way is to spend some time in God's word. Since we have so much time on our hands um, in the next couple days, why don't we spend some time with God's word and see if you can choke out some of those weeds. The other thing that God puts in our lives to help us do some weeding are our parents. And I know they're getting on your nerves, right? Just like you're getting on theirs. But you know what? God uses them to help us to be the best we can. We can't just be good on our own. It's not even possible. So he sends his parents to love and to cherish us and sometimes even to discipline us. So look at your parents in a different kind of way today and don't give them a hard time. Make sure that you're understanding that they're pulling those weeds so that you can be the best you you can be. Alrighty, my dears, why don't we go to the Lord in prayer and then we're going to get our day started. All right, so let's um, bow our heads, close our eyes, and fold our hands. Dear Heavenly Father, we just want to come to you this morning and thank you so much for your love for us. Sometimes we sure do take it for granted, and sometimes we don't realize that the things that you put into our lives are for a very good reason. And Lord, I especially want to thank you today that you put us at Mount Moriah for a reason, for a purpose. Lord, I thank you for each and every person that walks through those doors. Lord, each one of them are special in your sight, and they are, um, it's a plan for them to be there, Lord. We know that, and, and they bring to us so much. Lord, I just want to thank you for them today. Lord, I also want to thank you for the creativity of these kids. Oh my goodness, you've made them so special. And today, as we're thinking about weeds and doing our best and Accepting discipline when we need it. Lord, we just want to thank you for that too. And we thank you for sending us special parents that are going to help us be the best we can be. Lord, we're going to give you this day and ask you to bless it up real good. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So kiddos, as we close, I just dropped my papers. Hold on just a second. Okay. As we close, I wanted to, uh, to remind you, first of all, that your teachers and I love you. We miss you. We can't wait to see you. Um, this is a difficult time for all of us, but hey, we can do this. I'm going to ask you to just over the weekend, stay safe, stay well, be good, have some chocolate today because after all, we would be buying candy bars today. And when you have that candy bar, think about your teachers because I don't know one of them that doesn't like chocolate. So think about them today. Hey, um, I'll see you again on Monday. We'll have a new set of activities. We'll have a new team spirit and we'll select a new Bible verse. So until then, and until I see you again, love you all. Take care. Have a blessed weekend. Bye.